Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to The Silver Case. The Silver Case is a surreal mystery adventure game where you, the player, have been assigned to track down a mysterious serial killer assassin. It's quite famous for being the first game ever created by Suda51. You may know of No More Heroes and Killer7 fame. This is its first ever US release and translation, and I'm personally, as a big Suda51 fan, really excited to play this. Who are you? Uh... I'm Manly. That's gonna be sounding a little weird when people talk to me, but you know, whatever. There are settings in this game to switch between the old style and sprites and the new one, but I'm gonna give these new HD, uh, this new HD look a try. Let's see, in accordance with the increasing population, it has been segmentalized into five areas. Among the inhabitants, selected by the public vote, 8% are poor and 20% are wealthy, creating a rift in the economic strata. The most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord between those with easy access to information and those without. Also known as people of fast internet. The number of crimes has skyrocketed, and related information is propagated using news shows and communication intelligence networks as media. A population of 100,000 people. Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of office. The Metropolitan Police Department's Heinous Crime Unit is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. HCU. It is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki, an investigator who made a name for himself with the Silver Case. Silver Case head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kamui, 24 Area 2nd Heinous Crime Division Special Agent Tatsugoro Kasabi was on his way home. Tatsugoro Kasabi, age 44. It happened one night in the dead of winter. Well, this is. This is pretty stylish so far. 
Bank. War 24 Area B. Lunatics. What is this? A fucking lullaby? Fucking radio. Play nothing but shit. This is a very small road. Was this road really this long? On nights like this, weird shit happens. And that's just the way it is. At the beginning of a mystery game. What? I got a bad feeling. A real bad feeling. What's going on? got a head. A man. The hell is that? Ah! Crap. That's silly. He took a shot! That fucking punk! Don is Susie appeared. That punk is crazy. His ass is going down for sure. This is Kasambi. Anybody there? Respond. This is Hachisuka. Rasamuyo. He left. Oh. Did something happen? I got attacked by a Japanese high schooler. He looked pretty anime, compared to my grizzled self. I think he was in the Andres. A man with a gun just fired shots and fled to the river in the East Ward. Call in the closest units. Where to? He's heading west in E3. Got it. We'll pinpoint him from there. From here, rather. Have you been injured? No. I dodged a slug. Watch it whiz right by. Huh? Nothing yet. I got it. Where? Is it within jurisdiction? Hold on. Public safety? Those covert op guys? Natsumi's guys, huh? Okay, call them in. Got it. Shit. TGIF my ass. These tunes are pretty jamming. Makes me feel like solving a Nora mystery. No pinpoint yet. Target pinpoint. Cauliflower. A private railroad satellite. Perfect place to lie low. I'm gonna rush to the spot. It's on the location Natsume for me. Got it. I have a really nice car. It makes it feel cooler when you go like solve weird mysteries like this. I put this as the original resolution of the old videos, because it was on the PS1. The first mayor of the 24 wards, Keoru Kachisuka, launched the government's anti-conflict reforms. With the Department of Communications and Department of Finance structured, and the former TRO, and the Department of the Environment and Department of Investment structured around the former CCO, he fostered the sweeping organizational reforms to success. But the Department of Security, 
of the Central Police Department's heinous crime division, former terror faction, and the Public Security Department's Secu Secret Security Division was comprised of two separate factions. You know what's Suda 51 when all these things just start getting dropped on you, like out on the blue? All these little factions and all these little things you should know. Um, it's just thrown at you like you they assume that you should know it. And if you don't, you should start loading fast, because they're going to be important. The Public Safety Department. To compete with the Heinous Crimes Division, establish the Republic. Special Forces Unit to handle secret security cases. Silver Case. Head of former Regional Investigation Unit Investigator, Daigo Natsume, was offered the position of Commander. Natsume, then scouted Sakamoto Inamata and Manly for the unit. God, that's so unfitting. For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically run into the heinous crimes division. As Natsume and Kusabi's fate intertwine, the dark clouds of the silver case loom. A long night lies ahead for Daigo Natsume. Here's the bank, and right now there's cauliflower. This is the Republic rail car, it's just a van. It's a casual van, it's not even like a SWAT vehicle or anything. Couldn't afford that. A detective under A jurisdiction is already en route to the scene. What is that? Cauliflower. The target is at Cauliflower in E3. We're currently closest to the scene. We need to pretend we just happened upon the scene. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna think that. HQ confirmed the target and made the decision to get us involved. That means that this is a secret security authorized case. Keeping our movements under wraps is our top priority. But unfortunately, a jurisdiction detective happened upon the scene, making things a bit difficult. We need to keep them out of info let out at a minimum. We may come into contact with the detective. But avoid any unnecessary contact at all costs. Wow. It is just a casual van. Oh, we're Sir Shell. We spray paint our thing on the side. Chief. What about contact at a range of level W or higher? Disposal won't be a problem. Keep it at level Y or below. Got it. I'll explain the plan simply. Save questions for afterward. Ominate level X or below has been approved. What you carry is up to you. After entering Cauliflower in E3, lead the target to Cauliflower Roof. Proceed with disposal. That is all. Any questions? Chief, how should we carry out disposal? I'll leave that up to you. I'll provide remote support. What if capture is possible? I believe I said this was a secret security authorized case. We need to explain further. That will not be necessary. Anything else? That is all. Just because this is your first real fight doesn't mean you need to be overly vigilant. He who masters his own mind smiles in the end. Stay relaxed till you reach the scene. In a mata. Can't you calm down? Can't tell who's who because we're all wearing masks. I'm about to lose my shit here! And force it back down. I can't. My mind is cutting me off. If you can't force it down, then at least control yourself. You're gonna die. Or you're gonna poop yourself like Johnny. Okay. I'm scared too, to be honest. It's my first time in the flesh, you know. In the flesh? Sorry, but let me focus. This is totally different from training. Remember Manly? Our training maneuvers up north. It was the first time you shot real bullets, yeah? That wasn't the first time for me. So, is that me to the right, or am I looking at them from across the, the van? 
back when I was in the syndicate. Old school bullets. I gave them to me to take Tsubaki's head off. Of course, they were mine to the point that they might blow your goddamn hand off. I'd already thrown my life away, so I didn't care. No matter what would have happened. Thinking about it now, being young, I should have been full of hope. But it didn't matter then. Young, old, whatever. I got handed a piece and jumped in like a maniac. Just popping caps all over the place. I missed every shot. All of a sudden, I was surrounded. Ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why did he choose me? He told me to put my life in his hands, and he took me in. Same for you too, right, Manly? Picked up by the chief. And Amana too. I'm never gonna be a silent protag. Don't think about your own life. Believe in him. We'll carry out our lives. We put our hope in him. Don't forget it. Boy, you're deaf flagged. Just give me a picture of like someone you love. Let's just, you know. Let's just get that out of the way now. Same day. Cauliflower. It's hard for me to tell because I've never played the original, but I'm, I'm debating if even these little mini cutscenes are kind of like an upscaled original resolution of the PS1, and they threw in this UI stuff around it to kind of pad it out. Where's Natsume? Here we come in our van with these jamming tunes. Couldn't afford the cool stuff. We're cool in spirit. We'll be arriving at Cauliflower in E3 soon. The guy we're tracking is Kamoi. We'll decide on the formation after entry. I'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize a collection of sample data. Any questions? That is all. Okay, sync up your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. Got it. Count down to zero. So that's Natsume. Start the countdown in no more time. Don't forget. This is not an exercise. You need to remember that this is a real thing. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Good luck. Kasami. Guinea pigs, huh? What a way to win us over. One of your soldiers? So who's you? I heard you were back in the field. You too, right? Looks like you're one final gamble to me. I don't gamble. I'm in the self-defense unit. What about you, Kasami? I started that thing up. Because of the silver case. The heinous crimes unit, huh? I thought you'd come, too. I didn't think we'd meet up like this. I can never go back there again. 
I'm not as strong as a man as you, Kasabi. It's not about that. It's because I could use you. Not strength. Being young and all. Just like your soldiers. You've got your young ones to take over the next generation. There's still plenty of shit you gotta show them. Kasabi. Natsume. It's not just us anymore. Don't overwork yourself. We still got a long ways to go. That may be true. How's Sakura doing? She's just turned 22. She'll be graduating college this year. Oh god. Put a bullet on your back. I mean, a target on your back. Tell them be the same thing. They get so big. How is she? She become a proper woman yet? She takes after my wife. Real stubborn. You know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. That's a good thing. Even if she acts like she hates you, your daughter is still more precious than anything. Really? Chief, we're moving in. Okay. Zagamoto, go in first. Then in a mod out of Manly. Got it. That's enough nostalgia for now. I'll back you guys up too. Uh, thanks. It's basically a war zone. What awaits us in Cauliflower? Okay. So here's our teammates. I'm assuming you were the nervous guy in the middle. You were the guy on the left that was kind of confiding in everybody. Uh, you just put on a mask, that's the chief. And I was the guy on the right that just wasn't named. This is Natsume. Do you read me? Loud and clear. And Amana and Manly are both okay. I'll forward you the set points. Count your respective points and get into formation. Got it. Manly, calm down. I'm doing fine. Excuse me. Wait for my orders. Stay in position. I'm no rookie. And Amana, do you read me? The obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure they get proper confirmation. Don't forget that the perp is armed. Or you'll get yourselves killed. I know! Stop fucking around, you idiot. You're in the nucleus of the 24 Wards Private Railroad. And this citizens are gonna get killed if you start shooting like a maniac. Got it! Sakamoto. Go in and him. Believe Manly. Oh, okay, you won't trust me. Got it. Manly, listen up. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. I call you up to the second floor, Chief. Wait, don't move yet. Got it. Okay. Manly, get moving. It'll take some time before you get used to the controls. And it'll seem complicated first. But don't worry. You'll get used to it. Are you, are you breaking the fourth wall on me, Chief? It'll get easy, quickly. Just reach down and hit the X button. When the menu opens, let the command ring to M and press the accept button. Use the directional keys to move. Manual. Wow, it is the, the PS1 D-pad. Movement. W-N-S-E? Ah. It's a little, yeah, it is a little quirky. So up and, okay. So if I hit back down arrow, that spins me right round, baby, right round. Um, if I hit left, it turns me left. So I move tank controls. And forward is back. So it's purely, it's an old school tank control kind of first person game. Kind of like, uh, the closest thing I can think of is essentially the uh, old From Software games like Kingsfield. What's I? Gun. Ooh. Implement. Movement. 
This is basically like a chat. Can't wait. Let's see if I want to chat to people. C is chatting, I is implement, which is guns, S is menus and save. Where's this plate you want me to look at? Sakamoto. You pinpoint the utility point. Calculating now. Inamana, send me your movements over this way. Got it. Forty now. It's finished. Got it. Entering collaboration. I'll explain the commands. Emma's movement, this is how you can figure that out. Hold the accept button to move quickly. Use it well. See his contact. Use his touch stuff. When you see the sun stuff, use it to touch it. I is implement. Use this for tools. You save at any point, try saving once. I, mean, I already saved. So... Manly, check out the plate. Make contact. There's a contact point. So I have to switch. I can use my keyboard controls. I hit C to go to contact mode. So this plate isn't for decoding. Maybe it's for real estate and authentication. Looks like it. Chief. I found a switch. Probably the lights. Turn it on. Got it. Manly. There should be a control panel nearby. Check it out. Inamana, what's up? I, I think I saw someone up above. I'm going in ahead. Oh, you death flag. Wait, don't act on your own. Sakamoto, stand down. Let him go on ahead. Inamana, I'm going to fork you the target point. Don't go too far. I got it! Uh, thank you! Is this going to be okay? I don't care. If anyone's in a hurry to die, I won't stop them. Ooh, it's ice cold. Got it. Manly, I bought the control panel. Your movement, use page up, wheel up to look up. Use, look down. Wow, this actually is... It's not convoluted, but... Alright, I said this works. Look it around the floor. So I, if I see things in the map, those are contact points I can possibly go to. Send from the super cure patrol to the north and look down. Right there. Contact. Control panel. Yeah, I get I get the gist of this now. Not yet. It's probably something that'll change the structure. It's for decryption code input. Don't we work it out. Don't mess with it. Bentley, I'm gonna back up into mana. I'm going up. Come with me. I can't do anything with this yet, I guess. So where are we going up, buddy? Over here? You forgot something. To make direct contact. Comic beam? You got comic beam. Whatever that is. This contact point here.
Going up to the second floor. We're gonna find our other friend dead as hell. So you have to be the typical rookie red shirt. Sakamoto. I can't pinpoint any mana. This room is using an absorber. An absorber. Like an anti jamming device. Seems like it. That's what the data says. Precisely as a structure of unknown use. This sort of accident was to be expected. It's all about Animana. Back him up. Got it. You ready, Sakamono? You take the lead from here on out. Got it. I'll pinpoint and send our sights on the target. Lead him up to the roof. I'll take care of him. Got it. Manly. The door locked past here. The code input is complicated, but don't worry. You go to puzzles. We all got April kind of unlock the door. A text stream needs to be decrypted, but unfortunately we don't have the password yet. Okay. Find the password. Door. The silver case, access code ID. What is this? Please. What am I doing? I guess I just hacked the thing and that's all. You know, a contact point. A handy panel. I got a portable control panel. Anything here? No. You guys find anything in the right room? You did it, Manly. Do this door next. Uh, I did it all right. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Open your eyes. Please open your eyes. Oh no. There's gonna be some silly thing where it's all a dream and I'm trying to like wake myself up. Oh no. Oh no. You, if you've ever seen that thing on the internet where it says, Person! Manly, what's up? So there were survivors. Her heart rate is normal. She seems to be okay. Keep her warm and she should be fine. Huh? She doesn't look fine to me. It's okay. We can rescue you. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. Stay calm. We're here to help you. Everything is fine now. And don't worry. We came to help. We'll protect you. Just stay calm. This is dangerous. Until she calms down, don't let her move. Manly, I'm gonna go help Inamana. Let's hurry to the third floor. But yeah, it's... Kind of like that kind of creepy pasta of the people in comas tend to see things in their dream, and this keeps says keep saying, "Please wake up." We'll, we'll keep watch to see if like more weird texts pop up like that. Contact point. There's a door here. Hey, 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 hey. Well, that seemed a little weird. Well, that's a long password. Inamana comes first. Oh, okay. This must be in this door then. Namada!
Fuck, I'm hit. You okay? Now take a fucking look. I'm pretty far from okay. No, you hurt pretty bad. And you've already been shot, and I think you're fine for now. But then Sakamoto is death flying. It's just a bit. But I can't move my goddamn arm. You fall back. Can you move on your own? Yeah. If I force it, then force it. That's not very nice. I'm injured, you know. Listen, you're part of the Republic. Deal with it. You act out on your own. I got no sympathy for you. We're getting back up now. For survivors on the second floor. Get them out of there. Got it. You heard it, Manly? I'm going downstairs. Our guy's in the back. He's pretty fucked up. It's like he's not afraid to die. No, it's more like he's enjoying the risk of death. He's laughing. About the fact that he's about to get killed. What the fuck? Laughing all cynically like that. He can't accept his own death. A typical criminal. Manly. Kill the motherfucker. Don't even let the world know this guy exists. Just dispose of his ass. Hey, Sakamoto. You listening? That's my job. This guy's pretty stiff. Is that a problem? I don't screw around. I'm falling back. Yeah, I don't talk too much. I'm a bit of a quiet guy, if you notice. Sakamoto, Manly, it's up to you guys. I don't really like you too much. So that means he's in here. What the fuck? Christ. She was so young. Manly, the target's up above. I can't let this guy get away with this. I'm gonna kill the motherfucker. Let's move. What, it's over? What, it's over. Hey, hey, hey. What, it's over. It's been reformatted. Inamana, do you read me? Inamana! Respond! Son of a bitch. Again. We've just gotta roll with it. I'll go back down and revert the control panel. Once it's been restored, open this up. Be ready. Do I have to legitimately wait? Imana, respond! Imana, where are you? Answer me! Manly, something's wrong. I can't find Imana or the woman. Did we actually check? No. That'd be silly. If the killer, like, wore his... Outfit and mask and snuck out just now. Wait, who would sound like an Amada right? Well, no, maybe not. Could just sound like a generic mask dude. Like this. He shot me! Oh, he's in there! I'm totally not the killer! Something like that. I can't find Amada or the woman. There's no sign of them. Everything okay there? I'm gonna get in and Amada's gonna be so dead. the control panel. I'll fix it. Restoration complete. But it's no good. The password has been changed. Looks like he switched it on us. We're screwed. Hmm. This might come up later. 
where I actually have to solve the, the puzzle these manually. So right now it's just kind of like automatically hacking it for me because I guess we know the passwords. Manly, don't rush ahead. I'm going in, Chief. I'm pulling the public. I'm a cop. I used to be a paranormal cop. Now I'm just a weird cop. Don't stop me. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? This is not to me. Manly. I've got you locked. I haven't found the target. He may be hiding in a blind spot. Move with caution. What happened to Sakamoto and Inamata? Have they gone in for the backup? God, they're so dead. Oh, wrong blind spot, right? Contact point. Below. To the right. Down. Comic beam. Oh boy, comic books! Oh boy! Oh, there's a hell of blind spots here, man. Above? Move cautiously. Don't do anything stupid. Still puts my middle name after my actual middle name, Chief. What? What happened? Oh my god. A survivor. Manly, leave them for now. Got it? Don't fuck this up. The target is hiding close by. What if they are the target, Chief? What if they are the target? Chief, I, I don't know what I'm doing. God, it's gonna be like fear. I'm gonna be ambushed as I come down the ladder. Chief, I don't know where they are. Moon's shifting again. Gun! That woman killed them. Manly, fire! Don't hesitate. Shoot the motherfucker. What's wrong with you? Real game, real game. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. What a sick fuck. Excuse me, but... This falls under our jurisdiction. Don't act without our permission. You hear that from Natsume? Is that it, Natsume? The chief has nothing to do with this. We hold the disposal rights for this target. This doesn't concern you. This is how you want to handle it. This isn't fucking high school, Natsume. Is this what you want to do? Answer me, bitch! Chief, who is this asshole anyway? Kotobuki Syndicate. Kotobuki? Drop the shitty nicknames. It's a 24 Wards heinous crimes unit. The same as you assholes. Like a disposal service. So does that mean? It's supposed to be okay, Chief. Someone of your standing should probably shut the fuck up now. It's a guy who cut off your lead. Fuck! 
I do not really understand that dialogue chain there. Well, that's just how it is. I clean things up here. Hey, baby Vince. You there. The one that looks like a chinchilla. You talking to me? You mean manly. What should I know? The chinchilla. Well, then you fire. It was gonna reveal to me the secrets of this game, you bastard. You frozen in fear or something? You're gonna get your ass killed. Listen, chinchilla. My face is burned to this guy's eyeballs. These pieces of shit are fucked in the head. There's no leaving a bit of skull. Wipe the fuck off this plane of existence. Now that's overkill. You don't understand what it means to be a cop. You kinda do, but kinda don't. You're too cynical and edgy. You listen up too, straight edge. Why are we disposing of these guys? Any idea? They're criminals. So? This guy is a killer! I'm sick of this childish bullshit. You're a funny guy, Natsume. You do some really unique shit. Listen up. Disposal means cutting these motherfuckers out of this world. Get rid of their very existence, so nobody ever has to see them again. This crime virus is spreading around. Cut off at its source. Annihilation of the self. That's what we do. Tenacious. You guys take over from here. And watch your backs. Okay, now there's a ghost. This creepy motherfucker's at it again. Look. This is what crime brings. Crime ghosts. I'm a paranormal cop after all. This is a demon brought on by their criminal powers. Looks like I was not sent here for another reason. Can you shoot him? Chinchilla. Can you take them on? I thought this was a Detective Nora story, but this is really more of Judge Dredd. And all the criminals are possessed by evil death judges. Fire. Destroy this very moment. Why? Why won't you leave us alone? We're probably able to be together. That woman is gone now. Leave us alone. I finally understand. I won't falter again. Bring the hammer down on these unforgivable bastards. Manly, get rid of them. Two memories. Please help me. I don't want to die. I just couldn't take that woman anymore. That's why I killed her. What's wrong with that? She got in my way. What's wrong with killing her? Fuck you. I'll kill you all too. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill you. The devil will come upon us once again with the sound of the bells. We cannot die. Well, this is really a lot like Killer 7. We will have our revenge. Never will we were born. Take ever with. Kamui, the holy hunter. When Kamui returns, he will be the god of chaos. Kamui Iriara. So sleeping old lion has been awakened. This is gonna be a long journey. Lunatics. Decoy Man is coming soon. Oh my god. Suda. Suda. It's 
It's crazy. So, like a lot of pseudo works, it, it seems to be a very strong kind of David Lynch symbolism where you have the more literal parts where like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a murder mystery and this and that. And it was killers and cops. But then you have the supernatural part where it's the demonic spirit of crime and murder is there. And there's association also with the moon, which is a common pseudo thing. Uh, associating with this moon and lunacy and infections. That was actually the entire theme of Killer 7. And this seems to be very much a prototype to some of those things. What? What am I looking at? A menu? Accident? Sample? Insanity sample? Select mode? Zero case one. Very st a lot of like style. A lot of style. <laughs> 